Last week, many of our succulent gardeners in California were worried because it rained a lot for several days. Part of the challenge of growing succulents outdoors is the weather condition that we do not have control. Even in places like California, with the ideal climate to grow these plants, can also experience days of heavy rains. To some who have been growing succulents in pots and have not collected much, moving these plants to shelter when a situation like this happens may not be a big problem. But to those who have collected a lot, heavy rains for days may cause them to worry. Many of us have benefited from the positive effect of gardening with succulents. These amazing plants make us happy and bringing new plants into our lives gives us an unexplained feeling of happiness that only succulent addicts can understand. But then, over time, as these plants grow and multiply, we also run out of places to shelter them when unexpected weather conditions threaten their life. One way to protect the succulents from heavy rains is to move them to a sheltered location, somewhere with a roof to prevent them from getting soaked for days. But then, not all succulents can be sheltered, especially if you've collected a lot of them and if they are growing in the ground. Moving succulents when they are already grown in a large planter is also a lot of work, not to mention the stress on our backs caused by heavy lifting. There are other ways to protect the plants without moving them. One particular idea that I like is what Michi Rose did to her plants. Michi has a lot of arranged succulents in pots. Like me, she prefers to organize her collection to maintain a relaxing atmosphere in her garden. Although she has a patio to move most of her plants in, she was able to keep some of them where they are by covering them with thick plastic tarpaulin. And because she displayed them in several layers, one plastic cover is enough to protect many of her plants. Doing this helps prevent her succulents from getting so soaking wet. Worse things can happen when these succulents are out in the open, unprotected from the rain, especially when you did not make the right move from the beginning. What are those wrong moves? Number one, planting them in containers without drainage holes. And obviously, you know the reason why. Water will flood the pot as there is no outlet for the water to escape. The succulents can drown. Another wrong move is not using the fast draining soil mixture intended for succulents. The more organic materials present in the soil, the more water is retained. After the rain, You'll notice that some succulents will be fine and will even look healthier and happier while some will look sick. Succulents are living plants and they need water. They love rainwater because it does not contain harmful chemicals like our supplied water. Rain also washes away the dirt from their leaves and can even help get rid of mealybugs. But too much of it is what destroys succulents. So if your succulents got too much water from the rain, you can rescue them as long as you act right away and if the damages are not that bad. I have a previous video that will guide you on how to save these plants after getting soaked in the rain. You can apply the techniques shared from this video to your succulent plants that got soaked in the rain or even to succulents you have overwatered yourself. So if you want to learn more, keep watching. Succulent plants thrive well in dry and sunny locations. But what if you live in places where it is very humid and frequently rains? 
How are you going to protect your succulents or save them when they receive too much? That's what we are going to talk about today in this video. What to do when succulents get soaked in the rain. Succulents are plants that store water in either their leaves, roots, stems, or a combination of these parts. For most plants, water is critical to their survival. The lack of it would ensure the plant's demise. Succulents, on the other hand, can survive prolonged periods of dry spells. These plants are good at surviving in locations where the availability of water is limited. Keeping water inside their storage cells is their greatest strength, which allows them to continue living in situations where most plants cannot last. Although storing water is their greatest asset, which allows them to survive in challenging locations, that same strong point is also their main weakness. Their ability to store water can also put their lives at risk in situations where water is abundant, such as in places where it frequently rains. Too much water causes their storage cells to rupture and when this happens, their stored moisture seeps around the surrounding tissues leading to mushy leaves. Too much absorbed water can also cause their cells to burst. Some leaves may crack or may develop leaf blistering. Just like human skin, the outer leaf cover called cuticle is their first line of defense. Once that is broken, the plant becomes vulnerable to diseases like fungal infections. Not to mention the ugly scars that can result from those cracks and blisters. To areas like ours in California, where the weather is mild to hot and mostly dry, growing succulents outdoors is ideal. But for those living in places where it is very humid or where it frequently rains, growing them outdoors can be very challenging. Let me make this clear. Succulents love water. They love rainwater. They love to sip and keep a lot of water. But too much of it can cause them harm. Since succulents love rainwater, why and when should you worry? Remember, too much of it can cause them harm. So what happens if there's a sudden heavy downpour or several days of rain and you're not at home or you can't bring them all in? Well, if your succulents are dehydrated or you are using a medium that does not hold a lot of water, you do not need to worry when it rains. Also, for matured and rooted succulents, heavy rain is not a big problem because their root system is already well established and they also have bigger trunks or have a lot of leaves for storage. But for tiny ones, or those recently planted cuttings, this will surely mean their destruction due to too much water or root rot if the soil remains wet for too long. This same lethal consequence will apply to succulents that got too much rain and those that you have overwatered yourself. So, how do you save these precious plants? If you have potted ones and you have time, you might want to bring them to where they have shelter from the heavy rain, in your greenhouse, garage, kitchen, or wherever you have a roof. But what if you have already collected a lot? It would be too much work to bring them in and out each time it rains. You can also try to install a makeshift shelter using plastic table covers, sunshades, umbrellas, or trays. Or to make your life easier, you can build a permanent cover. 
preferably with a transparent roof so that they can still enjoy the sun yet get shelter from the rain. If they are already wet and soaked for a while, the best way to save them is to uproot. This will take some time, depending on how many you have to save. Be gentle when you take them out from their pot or container. Use a chopstick or a long tweezer to gently pull your plants out. This is the perfect time to use my green succulent tweezers. It can gently pull out individual succulents without damaging any more leaves or their neighboring plant. Also, make sure that you shake off the clumped, waterlogged dirt clinging to the roots. The idea is to separate the roots from as much wet dirt as you can, to stop them from absorbing any more water. In some cases, where it's challenging to shake off the wet dirt, rinse them in clean water only long enough to loosen the waterlogged soil. Just be gentle when you swish them out in the water. You do not want to break any more stems or leaves and you also do not want to lose any babies that are sprouting. If you do have some leaves that have fallen off or broken off, guess what? You can always propagate them. Leaf propagation is another exciting way to grow more succulents. If you want to know more about it, I have a separate video about leaf propagation. I will leave a link in the description below. Once this process is all done, air dry your succulents first for a day or two before you repot them. Or you can repot them right away, just make sure you're using a dry soil mixture when doing so. After repotting, do not water them for at least a week or two or even longer. They can survive for a while using the water they have already absorbed. Repotting them at this point is also the perfect time to check and clean your succulents. Take out any dry leaves or those that look really bloated or those showing root rot. You can repot them the same way in the same pot or you can be creative again and do a totally different arrangement. You can also use this opportunity to see which ones you can pair off better based on their water requirements. What happens to all the wet soil mixture you just save your succulents from? Don't throw them away, you can still use them later on. You can collect the waterlogged soil or dirt in a wide shallow pan or just keep them in one area where they can dry under the sun. Once dry, you can use them again or you can amend them as you see fit. As for your newly repotted plants, treat them like you would the first time you planted them. Put them under a bright area but not under full sun. I hope you learned something useful today. And if you want to learn more or purchase our colorful succulent cuttings, check out our website www.chapstickandsucculents.com. The link is in the description below. Special thanks to Anna Concon Fitzgerald for sharing the images and videos of her succulents and how she successfully saved them from drowning due to heavy rains.